Hi everyone, I'm Sang Kim. Today, I have prepared a video clip to help you understand BoxM test. BoxM test is a multivariate statistical test to check the equality of multiple variance covariance metrics. I have prepared simple data. There are 30 samples and two groups. Each group has 15 number of samples. We want to know whether these two groups show same variance covariance from statistical analysis standpoint. In our program, you can use BoxM function from HEPLUS library. Lambda is a BoxM statistic, so let me show you how to get this Lambda in Excel. Okay. Let's calculate average first uh, for height and weight by each group. So we can use average if function. Select range from column A. Okay. And uh, average range from column B here. Press F4. Okay. We can apply this form, uh, formula for group 2, but just change criteria as 2. Right. Uh, for weights, average if range select range from uh, column a comma one and average range from column c press f4 again okay. uh, same just change criteria as two all right let's move on to calculate variance covariance matrix so instead of using built-in functions such as covariance.s function uh, let's try to use matrix type function okay so to help you understand uh, let me uh, let's calculate h centered and weight cent eight, uh, height centered and weight centered for each group so heights minus uh, height average from group one gender one here okay for uh, gender two group two Minus uh, yeah, height average from group two. Okay. Okay. For uh, weight, select column C two minus uh, weight average from uh, group one, gender one here. Okay. For group two, this is group two uh, weight average of group two. Okay. Right. Then uh, let's move on to calculate uh, group one variance covariance matrix. So select two by two two by two cells here to apply a matrix uh, formula. So M mult. M means M multiply and transpose from uh, column D and E of group, uh, gender one here. Come on, again, same uh, data here. And close and divide by. Uh, there are 15 uh, samples, so we need to divide by 15, M minus one. And let's press Ctrl Shift Enter. Okay. Uh, same approach for group two. Select two by two cells here. And merge. Transpose. Group two data here. Okay. Same data here. Divide by 14. Ctrl Shift Enter. Okay, then uh, let's calculate pooled uh, variance covariance. So uh, in order to calculate pooled variance covariance, the main idea is to give on weight uh, related to uh, variance covariance. So uh, number of samples from here, minus one, multiply by group one variance covariance here. Plus group two uh, samples 
minus 1 multiply by group 2 uh, variance covariance part okay okay then we need to uh, consider uh, numerate part so over number of samples from group 1 plus number of samples from group 2 uh, minus 2 that is the uh, formula for pooled variance and covariance okay then control C and let's apply this formula for other cells okay All right so let's move on uh, to calculate lambda here so this is the formula for m part so uh, i split uh, this m as three parts so the first part is m total and the second part is m uh, from G, uh, group one and m uh, from group uh, two so for m total part here uh, m minus g so there are 30 samples minus two two groups and multiply by log of uh, determinants of uh, variance pooled variance covariance matrix so MDE TRM select pooled matrix here All right for second part here for group 1 uh, M NG minus 1 so 15 minus 1 multiply by log of uh, determinant of group 1 variance covariance matrix okay. and for group 2 uh, again uh, 15 minus 1 multiply by log of determinant from uh, uh, group 2 variance covariance matrix Right, then uh, finally the M, the M part uh, can be calculated by M total minus MG1 minus MG2. Right. For let's calculate C part. So P means number of variables and G means number of groups. So there are two uh, variables and two groups. So let's calculate C part here. Uh, 2 multiply by 4 plus 3 times 2 minus 1 and this part and over 6 times 3 times 2 minus 1 now uh, 1 okay and multiply by yep, this part so uh, each group has 15 number of samples so 1 minus uh, 1 over 14 plus 1 over 14 so for first part is for group 1 second part is for group 2 uh, minus 1 over 28 and minus g equals 28 right and let's finally uh, calculate lambda here m multiply by 1 minus e all right so this lambda means chi-square uh, value 1.56 1.56 okay so then the degrees of freedom uh, is 3 because uh, let, look at this part g minus 1 equals 1 uh, 2 uh, 2 variables and 2 plus 1 equals 3 so 6 over 2 means uh, 3 has degrees of freedom so uh, finally uh, let's calculate p value here so we can use chi-square uh, distribution 1 minus chi-square dist dist uh, x, va x values comma degrees of freedom is 3 okay 
and uh, true. Okay, so we were able to get the same data like R, right? So it means that uh, we accept uh, null hypothesis, which means uh, the null hypothesis is actually uh, homogeneity of, uh, there is homogeneity between two groups. So we can say that two groups variance, covariance, uh, show statistically same uh, same data, same uh, figures. So once we uh, are, once we do uh, box and test, we can be confident statistically about homogeneity of covariance uh, covariance matrix. That's it for today. I hope it was useful for you to understand uh, box and test concept and and the computation of box and test statistic. Please click like and subscribe, uh, like and click subscribe if it was useful for you uh, to understand Pakistan test. Thank you.